Hello and welcome. I am JV with the Cyber New Team, and today we're going to go over how to add a DFS namespace. This assumes that you already installed the DFS server role on your server, and if you did not, we do have a video available for that. It should be popping up at the top right here momentarily. But let's go ahead and get started on this. So the way to do this is you go to the bottom left here with the little window symbol, open up your server manager, and then go to your tools at the top right here, and then click on DFS management. This will open up your DFS management console. And then you just go to namespaces right here on the left side, right click, click new namespace, and then you specify the server for which you want to host that namespace on. So in this instance, it'll just be our DC server. And then you specify the name of the actual namespace. So the way it'll be showing up is it'll have my dc.contoso.cyber and then it'll display this name as well, which we're just gonna call cyber and you. And then you have these edit settings. This is where you can specify what type of permissions um, you would like the root folder to give out. Um, for this, generally, from the get-go, you want to keep it at all users have read-only permissions. You don't really want them writing to the root or changing anything else, such as full access. Necessarily, nobody needs that except you yourself or any other administrators you work with. So we're going to close out of that and then click Next. And then for this, the main difference between these two is the way you want your server to be. Uh, what type of availability you want to have with your server or your namespace. The top one is generally what you're going to use if you have multiple regions or geographic locations that you take care of because you want all of them to interconnect to your namespace and give availability in that sense. Uh, the, the one below, the standalone namespace, this is if you have one server or I guess one geographic location and you want to manage it through a failover cluster rather than having multiple servers be available to host the domain-based namespace. Um, for our little demonstration, we're just going to go with the standalone namespace just because I don't have multiple geographic locations. I want to actually have this be managed through a failover cluster just for demonstration reasons, but generally you are going to have the domain-based namespace. And as you can see in the preview here of standalone namespace, this will tell you how it's going to be showing up based on which option you take. And the different modes they essentially allow you to do the same thing. The only difference would be is the path name. Um, but features-wise, they're pretty much identical for the most part. Um, if not, I'm going to have the link to the Microsoft documentation at the, uh, descri in the description below. So you can take a look at it, but generally it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and click Next with this. This will create our namespace now and then close out of that. We can expand namespaces now, and as you can see, we see ourselves now. And now if we want to create a folder, you can just go to the right side here, click New Folder, uh, give it a name. We'll call this Finance. Oh, apologize, click Finance, and then you can click OK. And then this created a folder within your DFS namespace. So if we want to actually test out and check this out, we can, let's expand that for a moment just so we have the full path name. We're going to open up a file explorer and then just go backslash backslash dc.contoso.cyber.cyberNU. And as you can see, we see our finance folder here now. And then at this point, you can pretty much just give it permissions um, for whoever or whatever you're going to be using that for. And with that, now you know how to add a namespace in the DFS Management Console. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you again.